Let's see what the Jesse is doing. Just tell me when you are ah. ready. Are you ready, Canoe? Okay, after this game. Seems good. Okay. What do we have to prepare? We have to prepare. Just the game is over. Oh, he's calling. Hello. You know what, Jesse? We're, right. li we're live on uh, multiple Yo. platforms right now. I oh, are you actually? Yeah, I started streaming, uh, test streaming on TikTok as well. Wait, really? So you can... Wait, he's you're too quiet apparently. Now, hold on, I'll just turn you up. How is that working? I just downloaded TikTok Live Studio on the, say, on the streaming computer. Everyone, uh, let me just introduce uh, this stream since we're... Um, Live on both the platforms. Right now we are going to talk to Jesse. He started his diet on Friday. Today it is Monday. Let's hear a up first update on how he feels. How are the how much progress can you have in three days realistically? I don't know. If there's anything uh, we need to um, change, maybe. Yo. Yo. Hi, what's up? I'm dumb as fuck. All right. So, I was just gonna do black screen so it's easier for your point of view. Yeah, it's not double. That's fine. You you choose yourself. So, what do um, first of all, we we can tell them uh, what we changed on the diet. Oh yeah. You, you could go full screen because then we then can uh, you be as big as me on uh, on TikTok. Yes, perfect. <laughs> all right. Is this good? This is good. Okay. <laughs> First of all, we, we switched up uh, the oats in the morning with bread. Yeah. That's because a, yeah. oatmeal is just one of the grossest things <clears throat> that I've ever had in my entire life. Was it the taste? But it doesn't taste that much. Well, the texture too. And I think the people that eat oatmeal are brainwashed into thinking that it's okay at an early age. But that's another uh, combo. I, I get what you're saying because uh, I wasn't a fan before, but it, it's okay as long. Did you try overnight oats? No, not yet. That's what I'm going to try. Annie Monarch has told me to try that one. Yeah. But I haven't done it yet. He said to get like tight, tightened cut uh, oats and... You can try them. Steel oat cut oats have I seen? Probably the same. Yeah. Um, you can try both of them if you want to try it out. Both steel cut and normal oats overnight. So that would I really probably do work. Like, I, I like the bread though. I mean, am I getting the same amount of stuff from the bread or no? Basically the same. It isn't bad. So a good substitute. I, I love it. Yeah, I love it. And that if was you, so huge. And if you want to, we could also switch the protein powder in your breakfast with egg whites so uh, so you can have the, have uh, all the five slices of bread with eggs that oh, works too so so i have three do i do two yolks and three two whites yolk. two two, uh, oh. two two full eggs and then we add in egg whites oh yes please. instead okay, of yeah, protein powder because be then you have more to spread out on the bread yeah because i've been eating the protein powder by itself like a shot yeah, uh, th that can trash. also. Be. Then you have a bad protein powder that Are tastes you bad. You want to know what I got? Yes. Co cookies and cream. Cake pop uh, protein powder. No, my sister ended up getting cookies and cream, and she didn't know. Was what so what brand? Because <laughs> I'm not in the mood. I don't know. I, had, for I don't know. I'll, I'll check it. I'll take a picture of it. Shit, kids in chat like, that can't it's even blue, speak it, in a normal like, no, way. None of this. 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 No. On it. So. But then keep the bread. It doesn't matter. It won't make any difference anyway. So so that's fine. Okay, and then oh, I do have like one uh, issue, sort of. Yeah. yeah. What is it? <clears throat> like. Yesterday, I got so tired that I didn't even make it to the fourth meal. I just slept. Like, is that that bad? You should. Also, uh, I, I ended you... up eating a bigger third meal, though, because I was tired. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I ate a little bit more. Um, my my sister was like, oh, just do 50 grams more of this and this. Because I was uh, going to go to bed. Okay. And I, she was like. Yeah, that's so fine as well. Right. In general, 
I wouldn't uh, recommend you eating way less in case. Because the thing is, if you have a little bit less, it doesn't matter that much, right? The problem can be if that pushes you to be even more hungry than you need to be. And then, uh, and then uh, when you have skipped some meals, you fuck up and overeat. That's the only issue it could, that could have been. No, other than that, yeah, it doesn't matter. What's, what's so weird too is like with yesterday, I didn't eat the fourth. Well, I had a bigger third meal. Yeah. I didn't eat the fourth meal, but I had really good sleep, and I woke up and I did like the most cardio I did since the beginning of the diet. I did four point seven five kilometers. Yeah, I saw that. That's a lot. That's uh. I could have pro probably kept going, but it started raining. But it, it just nothing was hurting. Nothing like normally every day, so, like my leg starts hurting, and I'm like, all right. It just didn't really do that today. Have you stepped on the scale been, I, yet? Yeah. Has it any You're, changes? What is? You, on the Google Doc, you put that my starting weight was 320, but my starting weight is 326. Yeah. But right now I'm at 320. Okay. So I lost six pounds in three days, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, taking, I'm not taking that yet. Like, I'm going to wait a week. Yeah, let, let's wait. Stuff, let's but... uh, wait a, wee a week. But my guess is that you would lose a lot the first days anyway. So that means you're going oh, into right. a deficit. Oh yeah, I. <clears throat> what's what's nuts? This is the first time I've dieted and I actually feel good. Like every time I try a diet, it sucks in the beginning. But I think the stuff you're putting me on is filling in all those little crevices that I usually don't get filled you know well has bad ways mm, yeah when you have but... those like, keto diet keto diet with no no carbs or uh, no of uh, something that's often not that good yeah and i just feel like super stable good like, i just feel like i just feel good but i i'm assuming at some point <clears throat> like uh, i'm gonna i mean i i don't know am i gonna feel sick one of these days is it coming up you, you, you shouldn't be feeling sick from the diet at all. The only thing you oh, could fuck. is that you could become hungry after a while. Some craving days. Yeah. First couple of days were, yeah, I did. But I didn't do it. But they were really hard. And then my mom told me something that was actually kind of cool. She was like, just think of every time that you feel like you're craving, that's when you're losing weight. Like, that's your body losing weight. So yeah, of just course. get used to that feeling. Yeah, yeah, you have to get because you probably haven't walked around being hungry at all. No. Like you have never no, felt I, I've uh, just hunger. Been bored. I've, yeah, I've just been bored, and I'd order and be like, I think this would be great right now. You know what I mean? That's that's how my life's been for like, yeah, fucking since Uber and shit got super popular. <laughs> so, because that that is something you will have to handle and that is being a little bit hungry no, not to any point where you're oh, like fucking starving dying or anything not to that degree but but a little bit hungry that you feel like now i could have stuffed in a burger or three uh, at this point that feeling is something you probably should just get used to as your mother said she is correct yeah i mean that, that's how i'm kind of viewing it because if i like in the morning after I do my walk and then I eat my breakfast, I'm still hungry, but the way I view it is it's just like, I just, I just did more energy than that meal even was. And like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I like guess. <clears throat> so. Is, is it a but, good feeling? Yeah, it is. The, the feeling that I, that I noticed yesterday, yesterday was the first time this kind of happened was. My legs were hurting, but they weren't hurting like before. The first couple of days, my my legs were hurting like it felt like my bones. Yeah. Like it, it felt like like my actual bones were hurting. But then the next day, it kind of just felt like my muscles, like it wasn't my bones anymore. And then yesterday, when I was walking, I noticed because I was going up an incline at one point. Yeah. And it felt actually good, like that my muscles were being used because it felt like they were finally like stretching. Yeah. Like I haven't been able to stretch them. And it like pushed to the point, and then my leg stopped hurting. Good. Like I just got like that, like that really good stretch. But yeah, today I didn't have any issue with like legs hurting. I could have kept going, but I, I also didn't want to like overdo it yeah. too. 
Yeah, but, but, but that's already already an insane progress because what you said you thought you would struggle with the 20 minutes maybe today you did was it 45 you said well i actually don't know i didn't actually time myself no. i just i just walked but 4.5 kilometers anyway that is i would guess if you're if you're not walking fast that might be an hour yeah it's probably maybe around that ish yeah probably because I did like I did my normal route that I've been doing my 1.75 kilometers, yeah. and then I was like, I'm just gonna go outside the neighborhood, and then I just left the neighborhood. And because I, I'm I just moved to the spot too, yeah. So I took the time to kind of look around the area. So now I actually know what the fuck's around me. I haven't done that yet. It's my <laughs> first day doing that. So you're going to know where the area you live in as well. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's literally a smoke shop. Yeah, there's a smoke shop. But I went over there. There was a smoke shop right outside my neighborhood too. <laughs> I Not just that. found that out. It's so fucking sick. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. It's literally perfect, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have never known that shit either. No, but um it so it sounds really good to this point. Um is there any more que specific question I have? I'm I'm just thinking. Uh the if if we go into the, each individual meal, you have the one with chicken and some uh, or turkey, or turkey, true, or uh, do you have that one chicken turkey meal, and you have a uh, beef slash minced meat meal, mm -hmm. low low fat yep. beef or low fat minced meat, and you have the is it? Uh, I can interchange those by the way, right? Like, is that fine? Because I did the lean beef first today. It doesn't matter. Well, I did my I breakfast. Okay, all right. No, good. no, it doesn't matter. I did matter my breakfast, and then I did the lean beef. Yeah. You could also wait. The, the last of the meals is the one with the cod, right? Or white fish. It doesn't matter what kind white of white fish. White fish, sweet yeah. potato. If you, if you feel that some of a meal is filling up a bit better than the others, so you want to have that last, just do it last. I, as a last meal before you go to my bed chicken. my chick my chicken meals always fill me up <clears throat> then do the, I look forward to the lean beef meal that's like the meal that I actually just look forward to all day because I put like black olives in it and stuff and make it like taste like Mediterranean yeah black I look olives to that shit all day. let me check yeah. the, uh... oh my sister said it was okay uh oh I should ask you oh god uh, 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 uh. I only, by the way, I only take two small ones and cut them up. Two small ones. Like I don't, yeah, that isn't yeah, much. Juice. But it, yeah, then you could literally. maybe. But but the, the, this is where you get the oil from as well. So, hundred grams of olives is eleven grams of fat. So two of them doesn't weigh much. Yeah, like I just do it just for the flavor. Like it's it's that little bit of it. You know what I mean, like, and I cut them so finely that they're just gonna be like in all my bites. Yeah, you could That's also it. just take off like uh, how, how much olive oil do you have to those meal? Have you even added in that? I don't even add uh, the olive. Like, I put it in, but like such a small amount because I know that I'm eating the olives. But maybe you could just cut the olive oil from that meat a meal totally, and then use olives the instead. Instead, would that be a thing you could do? Yeah, how many olives can I eat then, though? <coughs> Isn't it 10 milliliter? I'll pull up the diet. Well, because I'm only eating two, so how many can I eat? Hmm? Oh, they were laughing that I asked that. Uh, how much do you eat? It's uh, 10 milliliter. You can have all of them, they said. All of it. them. <laughs> the full glass of olive uh, olives. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, but it, 10 grams of olives, that's for sure more than two. So so just measure 10 grams. Okay. He uses I'll black olives, grams. not green. Let me, let me just check if there's any difference on those two. Uh, no, you can have more. I mean, you can have more than ten. I I, I was wrong with give ten grams. 
Nutrition for black olives. Uh, this is per serving, but I need per gram. I thought olives just didn't exist. I didn't know. I, I didn't know that there was like nothing in them. Servings as one, ten small servings. I only get... Uh, There are 36 calories in 10 small no, wait. I only get American measurements and they never say per 100 grams. Um, okay, El Dorado Oliven Sortstein Fri med Næringsinnhold. Okay, here it is. Mengde. This is per 100 grams. Okay. 2.5 calories. Where is the calories? 128. And you are doing 10. That's 90. <laughs> you can have a lot, actually. Because when I say more, like I maybe I'm thinking of maybe using four next time instead of two. Uh, no, you can have way more. Really? Yeah, if you cut the olive oil from that meal. So we okay. can get in. Um, per 100 grams, you have 128 divided by 100 equals 1.28. What is uh, 90 divided by 90 divided by 1.28 equals. You could have 70 grams. <laughs> That's a lot. So I can eat, so I can eat 70. 70 <laughs> grams of olives. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how uh, how much uh, one olive weighs, but you can measure 70 grams. Okay, I'm I'm probably gonna do like. Five olives. It's, it's more than five olives. You, you know those. Um, you know those. Uh, you, you get olive in like a glass. Yeah. Well, the olives that I have right now are in like this little Mediterranean kit thing. Mediterranean. But normally in the glass, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just. And and yeah. one of them, like a jar. Is it more like they in, in the a standard one that we get here is like three hundred and forty grams, so you can have like one third of the that uh, about one third of the whole jar. Well, do I have to eat that much to make up for the olive oil? Because I can't eat that many olives. You you can add some olive oil instead if you want to. Okay, yeah, I'll bounce it a little bit out because I I just wanted to make sure I could eat the olives because I'll <laughs> scaring me. I thought I was gonna have to eat fucking at seventy olives now. That my no, whole diet would have been ruined. No, no, but you can if you want to substitute some of the olive oil with olives. If it is olives that they have pressed the oil from, so, so it doesn't make a huge difference. It doesn't make a difference at all, to be honest. But it's better to uh, get in the fat that we have added into the diet, so you don't feel bad for under eating fat or anything. If you're skipping. Skipping fat wouldn't be smart. Yeah, like what? Let me think. Like yesterday, I skipped a, I skipped like the sweet potato in the fish meal. Yeah. That's what I ended up skipping. Ah. So that's the worst one that to skip, right? If I were to skip them. It isn't anyone that is worse than others. But I want to like in inter- Okay. Never mind. It, it's fine. I'm I'm just saying if you start skipping and you feel bad like too hungry you might suddenly start may, maybe you get too hungry at a point what happens when that happens that depends on what how you react oh god if you react by going to uh, mcdonald's then oh, no. or no, no, no. ordering uber eats oh my god now i'm down I'm down six pounds, and now I'm feeling so hungry. I want, I need, <laughs> and then a five thousand calorie meal with uh, forty nuggets uh, and uh, three burgers, four large cokes. 
<laughs> and then we have a going right. You, you see my point? As if that yeah. happens. How do you know about all that? How I know about that? I remember because I was in shock. You know, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be fucking with my diet. The reason why is because I'm gonna be just, I'm gonna be honest with you, it is not hard yet. No. Like, there's nothing hard about this yet. I haven't gotten any cravings or anything that's too crazy yet. Um, I like the food too. The only thing that like killed me was the oatmeal. The, the oatmeal in the beginning was it. That was the only thing where I got really scared. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. And my sister's like, well, you gotta eat the oatmeal. I'm like, well, I'm gonna tell him I don't like the oatmeal. And then he didn't respond. So then I ended up eating the oatmeal. It was so bad. Yeah, but it, that, that's not a problem. But if, if that is our biggest problem, then we don't even look at the oatmeal anymore. If, if that becomes an issue. Then you just have the bread. You eat the bread. And that's Well, it. there's drama in my family now. Because of the oatmeal. They don't like so it, my, or they want you to eat the oatmeal? They want me to eat the oatmeal, and my mom's saying that I'm cooking it wrong, but my sister said that she's the one that cooked it, and then now they're getting into a fight. But uh -huh. And then Andy's saying that I'm cooking it wrong, and then there's this other way, and they're saying, we ain't Rachel Ray. I don't know if you know what that means, but... No. Pretty much, I'm going to try the overnight oats just to see last, like, second. Yeah. But, yeah, you're, pretty much, you're splitting my whole family apart. Because of oats? Yeah, if, if that was that is the last drop to split the family, I think it was going to split anyway. <laughs> yeah, but then the bread, the bread's saving it. So, so the bread, the bread is the bread's really good because after I'm done with that walk, five pieces of bread might sound like a lot, but it is not shit. It, that goes instantly because I just take the eggs. Yeah. I put the I eat it like a taco. Yeah. And smart. I just um, and then taco um, and then now i'm gonna have more egg where normally i have to eat like one slice by itself but if you give me another egg white um, yeah you can you can buy a liquid egg whites that you just mix in a pan with the whole eggs put some spices on whatever you like salt pepper uh, whatever you like the most if you have something else add that put it on your bread divide it uh, on, <coughs> on all the bread you said pepper and it made me sneeze. Yeah. That was, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, I've never tried like like the carton of um of eggs before. No. I was kind of excited when you told me to do egg white. I was kinda of excited to try to get the egg in my hand and hold the yolk. But what yeah. can I save the yolk for? Is there anything I can do with it? No. But you can't could you can throw them away. Give them to the dog. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I can give the dog a, a yolk. Uh, there's nothing in the whole day that I can't eat this yolk with. There's no... There's, n there's one egg yolk. No, but you, you will have more than one uh, egg or egg white from one egg. You will have more than that. You will probably... Have, like, if you buy those large eggs, it's about 30 grams of egg white per egg. And my guess is you need 100 to 150 somewhere before I have calculated. Oh, so you're saying there's more food in just egg whites? It's really low on calories, yes, per 100 grams. Oh, I see what you're saying. So instead of me eating the yolk and it's like whatever, I can the get an egg amount of just egg whites, which is way more. Yeah, because we already have enough fat gotcha. in that first meal on those two I yolks, see. right? I see what you're saying now. Yeah. yeah, that actually would help. That gives me more egg, too, for the bread. Gives so. you more egg. Knut, isn't yolk uh, just cholesterol? It, it's fat, but it, it isn't bad. It isn't bad at all. Uh, what more? Hmm... I have been thinking, uh, Jesse, since there's so many people asking about, uh, can they get help? You have probably yeah. seen it. Have people been DMing you? Yeah, people what? have been DMing me and saying, like, I'm going to go with the diet with you. Like, I got one guy sending me pictures of his walk every day now. Yeah. I got 
Oh, I just thought of something. Yeah. That somebody said that I actually did want to ask you. Yeah. A guy wrote me, um, some guy named Duck, and he was like, yo, I just want to let you know you spoke to Canute about being on an SSRI, which is that my anti-anxiety pill that I take. Yeah. And he says that I need to be careful with taking GABA and the SSRI and just to ask about that. Yeah, there was a guy that uh, sent that to me as well. Interactions. So what are we doing about that? Let's check it up. SSIR. Was that uh, how it... A SSRI. SSRI and GABA. The Effects of SSRI treatment on GABA and glutamate levels. Yeah, you just said just to make sure with that. So I just want to make sure because I am on an SSRI, so yeah. I might not necessarily need that because I saw it was like anti-anxiety, but that's kind of what I'm. Well, this isn't any strong transmitter supplement versus GABA is used as the most fasted inhibitor of part of uh, it. And I'm, I'm looking for some if it is something if they're right about using at the same time. That's a good question, actually. I could uh, DM a doctor that I know and see if he can find something. Okay. Yeah, because I, I have to take the SSRI. So yeah, of like, course. Yeah. Don't, don't think about that. But if uh, how about my health patients with anxiety and depression may commonly with the neurotransmitter in the human central nervous system reduces the ability to receive, create, or send chemical messages to other nerve cells. GABA produces a calming effect with a significant role in controlling anxiety, stress, and excessive fear and depression. It's the primary neurotransmitter responsible for providing calm effect. Was that the same? No. Hmm. Well, I don't get any warning. Don't use them together at least. That is like the, at the same time? Yeah, I tried to search and, and it isn't yeah, like Because I, I take my paroxetine in the morning. Yeah. And the GABA you have to be taking it at night. Dr. So Pepper. I, my, I my, what my understanding was was I was thinking you were having me take the GABA just to make sure that my sleep was good, right? Yeah. But I think the melatonin is just doing that on its own. That puts you to sleep at least. Yeah, like it actually does. Because I didn't have the GABA until yesterday. Yeah. And my sleep... Well, I did have the best sleep last night, though. Hold on, we have to rethink this. Yeah. I had the best sleep that I had last night. And I got the most done in my exercise last night. Yeah. So, so you, you had a good night of sleep? Well, I did. But I just want to make sure that it's not, like, unhealthy, though. You know what I mean? No. I'll, I'll, I, I would, this is my guess up front. I, I would be really, really surprised if it will have any really bad effects. But I will message a guy, a doctor that I know, to just to hear what he has to say. Maybe I can check up uh, interactioner. Interactioner at no, we can search. Yes. GABA SSR again. Det er det ingen information om interaktioner som gäller disse substansene. Eh, there's a Norwegian webpage that says there's no known interactions between those two substances. Mm. With which one though? Is it paroxetine? Uh, SSRI. And GABA. There's different SSRI, yeah, I mean, but they work. Uh, they they work basically the same. Yeah, I mean, his only thing the guy just said. The only reason why it scared me was because he said. Uh, There's a guy that sent me a Reddit link. I'll I'll check it up. He says the glutamine thing. Like, so what's glutamine? Glutamine. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that is just an amino acid. You get it through food as well. Always check GABA supplement and SSRI. 
Does anyone know if it's safe to take GABA and SSRI? Thank you, Reddit. Can cause serotonin syndrome in combination with SSRI. You should definitely avoid it. Uh, yeah, it's recommended taurine instead, as they both proven to boost GABA, but GABA supplements do not increase levels of GABA in the brain. This is interesting, thank you. Taurine this is trying to scare me. <laughs> Let me just send a, a text to a guy that uh, is more qualified to respond to this. You need to hit up Gabba Ghoul and ask him <laughs> if Gabba is gonna work with me. I don't know. I mean, I did have good sleep. I could just try it, and then if I feel some weird shit, I'll just tell you, and then I stop. Right? Like, no. if there's no known thing, it's not like I'm just gonna fucking explode, right? Probably not to explode, though, no, you won't die. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Don't be the first. Oh, no. Don't be the first to fuck up. Yeah, but, but let's let him check it out. Mm, ask healthy gamer. He doesn't have education in medicine, but he might know about this, since he probably have uh, worked with patients that has depression. But maybe he hasn't uh, seen if it works, uh, if it have any interactions with GABA. Well. Uh, we uh, we will ask. I, I already sent a message to him. He, he will probably respond within reasonable time. Well, now we have something to talk about on our next update. True. So when when do you want to do updates? W when should we do this? Is there any uh, specific times we should do it? It's taking me like three days. Oh, yeah, we could try. This this week. Uh, now it's Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. On Thursday, I'm in Denmark for a World of Warcraft event. Then we'll do it Friday then, because then that will be one week from when I started. Yeah. Friday or Saturday. Depends uh, yeah, when I'm you know. ready at home. But one of those days, okay. 100%. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what, what did you... um? You brought up earlier there that people are writing you about wanting yes. help and shit. I don't really know. I mean, because you're just this is based off my body, right? So people are asking for my diet and shit, but it's not gonna 100 percent work for them. I, what I haven't like a lot of people have been asking straight up. Can, can you coach me as well? I will pay. And my goal with this wasn't to like. Now I'm going to start my coaching business for real. <laughs> that wasn't the goal at all. Well, it could have been honestly with the results they had. Well, uh, let, let's need, see the well, results first. You need me. You need to give me like two years, and then I'll be your advertisement, and then yeah. you do your coaching career. Yeah, we we can do it before Royalty. two years when you're down at uh, two fifty in uh, in uh, mid twenty twenty three. Then, oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> then oh, we can start. Yeah. No, but uh, the point being, I. I think we need to have a way to like share so they can see what you're doing. Obviously, we're going oh. to post probably on TikTok and they can see the updates here, right? That that yeah, should be a good thing. Yeah, I was thinking of doing. I was thinking of doing like a having like one of those texts. What my diet consists of every day. Yeah. Five slices of wheat. Like I was thinking of maybe doing one of those bad boys, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah I was, I was about it. and we can have it posted. Let's say on on the, our Discord. So you can make a room on yours. I can make a uh, uh, chat room on yours. I can make one on mine. We can just post the links there. Yeah, and whoever wants to get a part of the diet too, just fucking. Yeah, and I thought oh. maybe, but I I ran into one more issue. What? There was a lot of. Uh, young people that is struggling with weight and i'm talking people down in the age 13 to 16 because i got i've got a lot of messages from from really really young guys that it says they're struggling and i feel like <sighs> like you, you you never know how their mental health is well yeah because uh, well i'm learning a lot that diet is 
a mm. huge uh, factor for me. Now, if I watched like this documentary recently, it was Stunt Stuts. It was it yeah. Jonah Hill? And the whole thing was about like <clears throat> you work on the you work on your body and your diet, and then you work on people around you. Then you can start worrying about yourself because as long as you got those two building blocks, yeah, you'll be good for yourself. Yeah, but, but my so. point was, I really don't want to like give uh, give to a 14, 13 year old. Look here, you have a diet, little kid. Follow this, and uh, your life will be solved. Like I don't want to do that because let's say now now I'm taking absolute worst case scenario. Oh. Let's say it's a suicide, but an absolutely worst case scenario. And the only advice he got from from this Norwegian streamer is, yeah, just uh, eat this and life will be good. Obviously, grown-ups, like, you know that if you're struggling with some mental issues, this isn't just a cure for everything, but this will be a good thing for your physical health that might give better mental health as well. You, you're grown up, so you know that. But for a 13 year old, that that might not be. Well, be it the doesn't. Same case. The thing is, is it doesn't. It doesn't fix everything. But what it does is it allows you to have more opportunities that you wouldn't do if you felt uncomfortable. And if you were more comfortable with yourself, it opens up more opportunities for you to be happy. Yeah, so, so it so. helps. It pushes in the correct direction. Yeah, because if you lost weight and you don't want to go into a grocery store because you don't want people looking at you, if you lose weight. You're gonna be okay with going in a grocery store because you don't care if people look at you because you lost the weight. So it's just it, it all just a give and take. Like yes. it, there was a certain point where I couldn't go and do shit like that. If <clears throat> before I had my my anxiety pills and I was at my heaviest when I was like 365, I wasn't going in. I didn't want to go into a, a Target and go see people. I didn't want people looking at me. I mean that was the biggest the biggest like saddest part about it was you just kind of rot. Yeah. But. If you diet though, and you do this thing that you can do on your own, that has nothing to do with anything else around you, and it's solely just you're slowly gonna like just build your uh, like your uh, life energy back. So. Yeah. So, so so what I was thinking, I can just add then. I was thinking, for if we, if we see really young guys asking for advice, I think yeah. it's a good advice to tell them talk to your parents maybe seek some help through your parents and you also don't... i mean your school too there's dietitians at school too true some places there is some places there aren't some places it's free health care that will at least help for kids right uh parents would need to be involved if they're that young even for you, see, you talk to your mother, you talk to your sister, they're joining in, they're helping out. Like, for for a 13-year-old, if often when kids that young are unhealthy to a degree where it is a problem, it's often eating habits in the family. Well, that, like, at least with you, it, I guess the main thing is just learn what macros are, and then ha what advice do you give for telling people what supplements to do and shit, though? I mean, that's... That I have no fucking clue. Like, you give me so much shit to use, and I'm just like, okay. But if I was doing this on my own, I would have there'd be no shot. I'd be taking the amount of stuff that I'm taking right now. No, no, but I'm, as a, 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 you you, you take the more more like basic right now. So so you take omega three, just healthy fat. Zinc is just a mineral. Vitamin D because uh, it's good for your immune system it's good for uh, like normally your body would produce vitamin d it depends on how much you're outside right in the sun but uh, for us gamers sitting inside all day th that's a different thing or for us norwegians when it's dark all the fucking winter we need to add that in when it comes to knack isn't the most important thing Sun's actually been feeling good. I would guess so. <clears throat> kind of miss it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I would guess so. And then you have the chromium, which is just to help a little bit with stabilizing blood sugar. Mm. More that uh, I can pull that, up and read. I take a chromium gummy, and it is the best tasting gummy yeah. I've ever had ever. And it. It's supposed to like be helping with sugar, but it's the only thing that I have that has sugar in it. 
and it has the apple cider vinegar yeah. in it too. There it is. Some studies have shown that chromium supplements may help be helpful for people with type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. There is good evidence that chromium can lower glucose levels and improve insulin sensitivity, although not all studies have shown a benefit. So, so it is a bit... It, for, for more, since, since you, it isn't that expensive, it doesn't do any damage, it might be beneficial. But supplements are supplements just to add into the diet. Yeah, I should have been taking these multivitamins though, like forever ago. I probably like, I don't know why it, I haven't been doing those. I think those are like almost essential actually, because I could just tell like I just have so much more energy. That that is fast just... reaction as well. <laughs> Three days. Well, so then... Oh yeah. So it was I mean... probably something. It was probably something your body needed, and something we have given you is something you needed at least. There's no doubt. I, was, I definitely was missing out on some shit. I mean, what vitamins do you get from McChickens? <laughs> That's a good question. I, I don't think any. I don't think you get any vitamins from McChickens. <laughs> Whatever is in the, the mayonnaise. <laughs> that is probably and, not much. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you lose vitamins. It takes vitamins when you eat it. Yeah. <laughs> so... No, so so I I just think it's good to have that little variation of those. It it isn't. We're not giving you those insane supplements that uh, you take fifteen pills of uh, different vitamins every day. We're not doing that. We're just so giving you reasons. That's what it feels like, though. Can you Compared to like can my regular try? amount, like I wake up, take a magnesium pill, and I drink black coffee, which I'm getting used to. But, oh my god. By the time I'm done with the walk, fucking, I have to shit immediately. Nine months, one man, can you drum, can you drum? Oh, I have the TTS speaker on. Articus, thank you for nine months. <laughs> Scared me. Uh. So, and, yeah, so, it makes me, is the magnesium make me shit, too? Uh, probably not. Oh. Six things you should know like about. With, uh, a friend of mine sent it. Six things you should know about vitamin D. Uh, 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 and it says obese people need more, more vitamin D. And look at number five. Weight. Body fat soups up vitamin D. So it's been uh, proposed that it might be proven a vitamin D rainy day fun. A source of the vitamin when intake is low or production is reduced. But studies have also shown that being obese is correlated with low vitamin D levels and that being overweight might affect the bioavailability bio of vitamin D. So it's probably that might have helped you a lot of getting more energy as well. And me going out in the sun too. Probably. Yeah, a combination. Uh, I... I've been drinking a lot of water too that I wasn't drinking. I pretty much wasn't drinking any water. No. As crazy as that sounds, but now I'm drinking. Like if you look at my desk, I have one 20 ounce of this diet Dr Pepper, and huh? then I have three of these waters that I've drinking since I've grabbed the next one. So nice. That's way better off than what I was doing. Is it like 500 milliliters or five five deciliter? 0 0.5 liters per bottle. 591 milliliters. Okay, so almost 600. Water. Yeah. yeah. That's 600. Ounce. Fluid ounces. <laughs> I wasn't going to say the fluid ounces. Oh, you need to add in that as well. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, I always thought that was Florida ounces. Florida it's FL. ounces. And I thought every state had different uh, ounces. Different type of ounces. <laughs> yeah, I really did though. I yeah. really, really did. But. So Florida and Texas is different ounces. Florida oh, ounces. Wow. <laughs> Texas ounces. <laughs> so you are born in Florida and lived there most of your life, except when you lived in Texas. Yep, I lived there literally my whole life, and then 
last year I lived with Pope for a year. So uh, how did you enjoy uh, Texas? It was okay. The food sucked. The food sucked. The, don't yeah. they have, what, what, isn't it P. In, Terry's? In Austin, in Austin it sucked. In Austin it sucked. Houston was great. Yeah. Austin food sucked. But don't they have P. Terry's? Oh, that burger uh, chain that only is in Texas is now name is. Oh, P. Terry's and, <laughs> and Freddy. Well, those were good. No, like, those are good. But, I don't know. I just feel like I wasn't... Like, there's better things where I'm from. Yeah. So, I was a little I, disappointed. I, I, Houston uh, was super good, though. When I was there, I had to rate uh, rate uh, the fast food burgers in uh, in Austin, and I rated that one the best, better than In and Out. What about Freddy's? I don't think I tested that one. That I tried Freddy's when I was there, and that shit was so good. I wish I could have that again. Freddy's Fred. is amazing. Yeah. But um. Well, yeah, I, I like the P. Terry's was good too. But Freddy's, they have like, it's just real crispy. They get the meat real crispy. Uh oh, we need to stop talking about food or I'm going to turn into the Hulk. <laughs> but when, when, when is your next day when something is happening that you think <laughs> that you will need to eat something else? Is it Christmas? Is there anything before that? Christmas. I'm going to eat uh, Lebanese. Well, it's going to be Mediterranean food yeah. and stuff like that. But it's going to be like grape leaves and hummus and stuff like that. I eat that around. You celebrate uh, the twenty fifth. Uh, for New Year's, we do the, the we do the big meal. But you don't celebrate the twenty fifth. I'm not going to eat probably though. No. It's usually like sweets and cookies and stuff, but I, I don't really even fuck with that. Oh, we. Honest. We uh, we made the gingerbread cookies uh, this Saturday. Oh yeah, I mean I like cinnamon and stuff. I probably I've never had a real gingerbread cookie before, but it's like a cinnamon and like. I'll ship you some Norwegian or... ones for Christmas. Okay, are they healthy? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a combination of butter and sugar, mostly. <laughs> oh yeah, well. <clears throat> yeah, I, I know I'm probably gonna have like one or two, not full days, but meals. So yeah. Because you said that you're like it's not cheat days, it's meals. So I'm probably gonna have like two cheat meals in December, but I'm not gonna have a cheat meal until then. No. I mean, I like what I'm eating. One year. It's dead. not. Can you dance? 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 Can you two head? Can you two head? Can you two head? That's good to her. But don't you celebrate the normal Christmas, like having a Christmas tree with gifts and all of that? Don't you do that? Well, yeah, but like my family tradition, like on Christmas night, they just get like appetizers from restaurants and shit, and I'm oh. not eating any of that. No, then you can. And see. I never. Yeah, I don't know. It's like okay. Get... Doesn't even Santa Claus come to your house? Uh, not Santa Claus. There's uh, an elf. Some elf does it. I forget what it's called like a funny elf that hides somewhere different every day is this something american thing i think so what is it called oh elf on the shelf i need to see what this is elf on the shelf i, I mean i guess they believe they believe in santa like my nieces and stuff the elf is monitoring the house to make sure everyone's doing good mm. and he and he does crazy stuff and he <laughs> he like destroys the house or some shit, I don't know. Like, I'll, I'll walk out there and there'll be like toilet paper everywhere, and there's like the elf holding the toilet paper. Okay. It's kind of cute. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I see, a pic I see pictures of it right now. Yeah. I haven't heard about this elf before. Not at all. Yeah. Really? No, it's no. a cool little something. You'll probably see it on TikTok this year, because I think more people do it. But. Uh, did you yeah, know what? Cool. My TikTok algorithm is so bad that I can't even look at TikTok. I don't go on TikTok. I mean, I say TikTok, but I don't even go on TikTok. I go, I watch YouTube Shorts. <laughs> YouTube What's your creepiest glitch? What's your creepiest I really glitch do. In the I, uh, I'm a YouTube Shorts guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's why to. I didn't even know that you could live stream on TikTok. I didn't even know it was a thing. Oh, yeah. We have 223 viewers there. Damn. 
total views 5869. Nice. Well, it's some, some at least. So then maybe that's our new platform. When Twitch uh, next year uh, cranks down the sub uh, split. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're all gonna go over to Train's platform. Uh, yeah, it wasn't it ninety five five? He said. Yeah, if that really happens, though. Yeah, I haven't. I know. I haven't talked to him, so I don't. I don't know more than the tweets I've been reading. If that actually happens, that's insane. But we'll we'll see what goes down. Yeah. I, I have you. Do you have any inside information? Have you talked to someone that knows anything? Nothing I can say. No, not that you can say. We'll provide yeah. a full update day in a day or two. But for now, I'll be leaking uh, one thing. Partner, the creator, subsplit will be 95 creator, 5% company. Fuck you, leaking one more thing. We will have uh, a bits equivalent. Uh, equivalent. And we... Uh, uh, what was this? I think Train could do anything. So... Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I have too. a lot of faith in anything Train touches. So, yeah. I mean, just to be just to be straight up, I think Train's really smart. So, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I don't doubt him. The only thing, we'll the see. only problem, problem I see is, will it come in enough viewers when competing against the established YouTube and Twitch? That's the only issue I can see. No, it won't. But if that if that really is going to be the share and it's 95.5, you can't compete with that. I mean, the, if that really is what it's going to be, you can't really compete with that. Depends on ads, gonna... though. Depends on ads. I guess. Well, I mean, ads, if you, if you really want to get with it, like, ads only really matter, you know, at a certain part of the year, you should tell me. So, like... It would be nice for the rest of that year to have a nice comfy 95% revenue split. Well, with your viewership of 3,000 viewers, I would guess that you can make... Do you want me to estimate? I don't know. I bet. I don't actually... I have no clue. 30, I still haven't gotten 30,000 a month? Realistically? Can you... I'm going to send you a picture. <laughs> Uh, if you put in those 300 hours of XQC and Knut streaming time and train well yeah <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me show you a really funny picture <laughs> this is going to make you really laugh yeah I'll, I'm ready to laugh I'm trying to take a photo of it <laughs> I'm trying not to leak it either Knut meant 30,000 Norwegian with 3k dollars. No, I meant 30,000 dollars. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> that, is, that is a joke, but how many hours is it? Oh, but it's 12 hours dreaming. It's worth 12 yes. hours dreaming. Yeah, I mean, I can show that, right? I feel like people show this. Yeah, they they posted it on uh, on Twitter. A lot of people I saw when it was to show off, uh, or or to show off when they were mad about the split. I'm not sure where mine is. Partner, probably. Is it there? You find it? Settings. Partner. Where is where, where did you find it? It's in the partner ah, tab at the bottom. View offer. Oh Jesus Christ, they're cranking up to for me minutes. I'm not giving them nine minutes of ads, just saying. Yeah, see, I, I, I need to see one of those, bro. Yeah. I don't know, am I fucking bugged? Is my shit bugged? I mean, it's you happening. See, you see, there's a different uh, viewer hours or hours streamed. 
It's way different. I know, but... Sag. <sighs> now I'm sad, Canute. Yeah, but this is for nine minutes of ads. We're not giving them nine minutes of ads. <laughs> I know, that would be... So... That'd be so bad. Nine minutes of ads an hour? No, that is so bad. No one does that, right? No way. No, I'm not doing ad. I, I did. Do you know what? After Camp Knut, because um, I I had a really really high viewership number all of Camp Knut on my channel. Oh yeah. So when they oh, and you were getting the ad stuff during that. Uh, no, but I get it after. <laughs> so, because when they're they're always looking back one month. So in September yeah. they were looking at August numbers to give an offer for October. Yeah, that's what they did to me. Too. Yeah, that's why my thing is bad. That's not the I've had it like higher than that before, but not like your thing. I mean, that's just because you're you put a fuck ton of hours. Yeah, I stream a lot of hours, but then they, they offer. I, I, I gave my chat. I told them I can't say no. That's what I said. I couldn't say no, and I had I gave them the max because it was, and it was eight minutes per hour for one month. And I'll tell you a, uh, a fun tip though. Yeah. Cool tip. Even if you pick the lowest one there. Yeah. If you pick it, no matter what, even if you end up finishing the goal, it's still you still have to keep running ads. Even like yeah, yeah, but but you get extra ads, uh, extra ad revenue. This is just on top of the uh, one you get. Yeah, but you can't lower the amount of minutes you do. So even if you hit it, no, but you, you hit six the... minutes is fair. Like we're running five now. <laughs> oh, I do too. <laughs> but I don't stream like you. Not that Me many doing hours, four no. or five minutes. Yeah, if I did five minutes of ads in an hour, yeah. and I stream six hours. That's fucked. But if you do five minutes an hour and you stream for fucking fifteen hours a day, yeah, it makes sense. You will. You will probably be more. What? Um, you will have more uh, stamina to stream as well. Yeah, I actually after this. I mean, normally I don't even know. Yeah, it does not feel like I've been on for four hours. I feel like I'm gonna go for a while today. I'm not gonna lie. I think you will probably get uh, more stamina to stream. Yeah, I'm not even close to being tired, and I, I ate my meal already, my second meal. I ate my third meal at at, at four. Yeah. What time is it? I even... Are you? What time? Oh, apparently in an hour, but I'm not eating for two hours. Fuck that. <sighs> I'm way too full from the last meal. Yeah, and how how long was it since the last meal? Uh, chat, when did I eat, like, when did I eat? Like, maybe two hours ago-ish, maybe? Yeah. One hour? An hour ago? So, so if, you, you can probably one hour, okay, but then you should wait a little bit more. You yeah. Should, shouldn't be needing to I'll, get a new I'll one. I'll probably eat, like, six or something, maybe, instead. Yeah. And then I'll eat a late night dinner. That is perfect. Just divide it. But then, when you put in 190 hours a month on stream, you will get the high in ad initiative programs. <laughs> well, yeah, I uh, which I'll I'll have a good I'll have a good month one of these months, right? This uh, month, right? Uh, yeah, and then you hit them right. within nine minutes, and then they will leave because that happened to me. The viewership dropped yeah. by <laughs> thousand viewers instantly. <laughs> well, you know who doesn't run ads? Uh, Kai. Kai. Yeah, Kai doesn't run ads. Not, uh, en not any ads. No, I don't think so. But then he gets the automated ads when they join his channel. He but, does? No, he he does. I think he runs a lot. Some people say. But am I saying the wrong person? Asmon doesn't no. run ads because oh. he streams on his Sack uh, account where he doesn't even have a sub button. People say he runs a well, lot. To be, to be fair, 
someone told me that. So whatever. Not uh, sources. I don't know. Hassan, we'll he doesn't run much. He has one minute, I think, every hour. So he has a really low uh, amount of ads. I'm trying to fix my cam, but I'm messing everything up. I can zoom out. Every hour, every top of the hour. Are you going to bed? Yes. Good night. Me? No, Louisa. Oh, good night. He said good night, Louisa. She said good night really low when she walked out the door because he was already left. <laughs> yeah, no. I feel like we have to do this. I, I've uh, justified it to myself that streaming isn't a thing we can do till we're 70 years old. So it's probably smart to make some money now because we have to have it saved up for our pension because no one will help us. Well, I want to be a comedian after. A comedian? Yeah. Hollywood? Actor yeah. or uh, stand up? Stand up. I'll come to your show. Yeah, I want to do it eventually. Yeah. When uh, when everything breaks, when the like, because I used to be able to go on. St the reason why it's because it's full circle. I used to go in front of stages. I used to be in band. I used to do all this crazy shit, and then just like something after high school fucking hit, and all of a sudden I couldn't even do like public speeches in a college with like seven people. Huh. And like some weird stage fright shit started going on, and like I feel like it'd be real nice to go full circle and just be able to go back and be able to do the shit I did before. Because yeah. it doesn't make sense that my fucking little fourteen-year-old, fifteen-year-old self could do something, but I can't do it now. Like I'm fucking. Can you feel me? That doesn't make sense. Like how did that pussy do it? I'm 25. Yeah. That's the way I view it. I'm just like, what the fuck? The 14 so year old shouldn't be as tough as the 25 year old. That's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck was going? Why was I? What? Why was I so brave to do shit like that when I was younger? And I can't do that shit right now. And at that time, I feel like at that time, me being, I even remember myself being that young and feeling like I knew fucking everything. And oh my god. Ignorant was ignorance is so blessed because as soon as you actually start knowing things, that's when you start just becoming fucking afraid of everything. I, I see that. You start shit. That's why I don't know anything. I'm just a dumb meathead. <laughs> yeah, I. That's the way to fucking live. Is <laughs> fearless dumb meathead. <laughs> Much better. Ah, uh, no, but it, but it. Like those things, I've never been worried about those things standing in front of people. I'm dumb as fuck. At least when I know what to do. I would probably be fucking scared if I uh, didn't know what I was going to do. Or not scared, but uh, at least a bit more uh, conscious. Yeah, I mean, when I say stand up too, I like. I would love to at some point. You know Bo Bo Burnham is. No. He's like this music comedian. I like almost want to do what he does, but funny. You want to do what he does, but funny. I yeah. need to see this guy. Bo. What was his name? Bo Burnham. My first thing on Google. I'll, I'll look into who this like is. To, I would love to do that one day. I feel like that would be so sick. Like, I, I have dreams of doing shit like that. So, I mean, like, why not just do it eventually? Of course. That's why, like, like, if Twitch ends up going away, then you just go to the next dream, right? Like, if... What, what would your next dream be? <clears throat> How it looks right now, it would have been YouTube. No, but I mean, like, not content creation. Oh, my like, next job... No, like just next dream, like next dream. You were to have I, I thought, dream I thought that you would want to do. I, I like thought, something out of nowhere, you know, like some other shit that you've. I thought you, know, you said you stream. I th so, thought you said oh, stream and not dream. No dream, dream. Uh, uh, good question. <laughs> plan B. Where is the plan B? Maybe something called Nav in Norwegian would be the next uh, step. Uh, if you'd N A V. And Norway, Google that. 
N-A-V uh, Norway and then look at what that is that, that would probably be the next step oh is this your welfare checks <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> good one <laughs> good one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be going for EBT or something. Uh, good stamps or. And I don't know, <laughs> but I, 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 right now I don't know, but I would probably let, let's say, I couldn't uh, stream for whatever reason. Yeah, like say you're, you know, you, you just you, out of nowhere. Like, what would you do? I feel like I right now I would have tried to get into. Uh, something in the same business where I could do something behind the scenes instead where I'm more like a normal job where you're hired for a company and do something because I feel like I've made my face known enough so people so it would be a chance to get a job there plus yep. I know a little bit of how it works yeah I I would probably. I mean, that's a good one. M mine would probably be because I video edited before I did any of this shit. Yeah, man. So it'd be, I would just video edit again. But I feel like I would get better jobs because of this. Yeah, and like the guy said, Knut should work at Stream Elements. Yeah, maybe I would be the guy sitting there at Stream Elements helping streamers setting up their fucking overlays. Oh my god, that would have been horrible. That wouldn't be horrible, but it would have been uh, different. <laughs> so you would have went for welfare, and you would have you would have owned like a gym or something. <laughs> yeah, you might not be able to do both at the same time. <laughs> Get the welfare money to pay for the gym. It isn't that good a payment in Norway either. The welfare checks there isn't that big. But let's say you get fired and then because uh, I have a company that I'm hired in. So I, I get a salary from my own company that I own. And let's say that company went bankrupt because it didn't get anything more from uh, from stream. Then or let's say I got sick. So I could go over to welfare. I would have to go over to welfare. I think I can get like 60% payouts or something. Fuck. Enough for a, to get a gym going? Nah. Fire yourself. Yeah, we can't have this employee anymore. <laughs> it's not beneficial for the company. We need to hire someone else. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not make, it's not making any more money. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's um. I I don't I I seriously don't know that that was a joke about the welfare because it's typical in Norway. It, yeah, it is a little bit typical. <sighs> One guy says sixty six percent of six G equals about hundred and eleven thousand no. Six. What? What is one G? One is like grundbeløp. One. You guys measure your money in G's. Money are uh, we measure our money in K's? So you could get sixty-six percent of six G. Hmm. I, I need to calculate. In M's. Yeah. Uh, times six equals zero point sixty six. So I could have before taxes like forty five thousand dollars a year in welfare. What they're saying it looks like. If I move to a cheap place or maybe to to a cheaper country in the EU, I could probably live pretty well. That would be a that would be a thing. I'm getting sixty six percent of six hundred thousand a year. 
AAP 66% of your last two years income. So I can't fire myself before it has gone two years with high salary or less. Then I can get the fuck out, get fired. <laughs> No, it, it wasn't work like that. This is chat. This is pure jokes. You should not cheat the welfare system if it isn't needed. That's for people who need it. No one else.